Hey guys, it's me, and I am finally doing this tutorial on the mini album made from envelopes. So, this is the finished mini album that I made. Um, I used the Coastal Paper Pack from Die Cuts with a View, and these um, envelopes that match the paper pack are from recollections they're the five by six and a half oh sorry five by six and a half value pack envelopes there's a hundred pieces which there's 50 envelopes 50 cards so these are flower rosettes um i don't know where they're from this is a cutout from the paper collection and then this is one of those pockets from the dollar spot at Target. These, the adhesive square label pockets. Um, they come 20 to a pack and they just come on these little sheets. You peel them off and then it's got this white sheet. So that's what I stuck on the front. What I did was I cut out of cardstock the different photo sizes that I have for photo spots in this album. So whoever I give it to can place these over their photo and cut it out with scissors so they don't have to have a special photo cutter or anything like that. I have some other sticker flowers that I put on here. Um, I don't remember that it was in, like I threw all the flowers in the same box so I don't know where they came from and they're really old too so um, there we go. So I just kind of made photo frames like Polaroid type pictures here and then each one has a tag. Um, I don't know, I, I must have had one extra and I stuck it in there. So they have the 3x3 three three photos, I have some of the journaling tags, some 3x5 photo spots, um, a bunch of journaling tags in here. So each one of these pocket Things are slightly um, different size. Um, I guess I just made, yeah, each one of the pockets has one of these extra 3x5 photo tags in it. Uh, I think I was probably just trying to use the paper up because I cut it. So you can put the pictures this way or you can put them this way. But I marked each spot with what, whatever size photo that it was. So, what you need are envelopes, um, and then I, I sealed the envelope, and I just used the tape runner on it, and then closed the envelope, and then that's the side that I cut off. So my pages are four and a half inches, so I just cut this at four and a half and this is every single page is like this that's all I did to the page and then you know I matted it now to make the binding as you can see the binding on the inside is the same page same color as the envelopes what I did was I took the card and I cut it at one and a quarter So I'll do two. So I'm going to cut two of them at one and a quarter. And I'll show you how I did this. And now let me just get another envelope here quickly. I need to tape it. I mean, you can lick it if you want to lick it. Just lick it. So I'll cut this one at four and a half as well. And then I had. score tool and I scored um, these one and a quarter pieces it's just the size of the envelope um, so or the size of the card so it's six and a half so it's one and a quarter by six and a half and I scored at half an inch and then at three quarters of an inch and I'm gonna do that to both pieces half an inch and then three quarter and this is um, the binding I decided to use. So let me scroll in here. So then I'm just going to fold 
for my score marks. And uh, I'm going to use my um, tape runner, but you want to use really strong adhesive or wet glue, score tape, um, something like that. So then what I did is I took one page and I did this before I matted them. So I created the pages first and then I made the binding and then I matted them. So I have this page here and I have the adhesive only on one side. So there's half an inch, there's a quarter inch gusset and then another half an inch. So I'm going to fold it and I'm going to place it on the fold line with the page line and I'm making sure that this is not the side that I cut. This is the side that's not cut. And I'm going to line up the folded edge with the sticky side down along the side of the page. I'm just going to turn it this way so that I can see. And I kind of just guesstimated, tried to, tried to get it in the center as much as I could. Um, there we go. Make sure the folded, see the fold is right next to the edge of the page there. And then fold it down. Now this side here, which I totally missed on the tape there, so this half inch flap, I'm folding it over so the sticky side up. And you can see I'm just folding it. And then I'm just going to take my second page, make sure the opening is on the left, and I'm going to line up the envelope so that it's flush the top and the bottom and then I'm just going to slide it over to the fold so making sure that I put this side right here so I'm lining up this with the fold of here but I also want to make sure that the envelopes are not wet you don't want them like this or like this you want them straight so the envelopes you want to be straight and then you're just going to line it up on the side line it up with that fold there and then that's how I bound them. So the next one, same exact thing. Put tape on the half inch part of this on both sides. I'm folding it down so you want it to be this way. So it's half inch the gusset and then another half inch. So I'm folding so the half inch down this line of the binding. This is where the quarter inch is sticking up. And again, I'm just going to place it on the next one. Try to get it centered on your page. And then the next page will go on top of here. And you do that until you have all the pages. Now, to put it in, I created my cover. Created my cover first. As you can see, it's all matted. And then where these half, these quarter inch gussets, I keep on wanting to say half inch, they should all be lined up. So like this one right here is not, is not right because this is there and this is up a little bit. Let's see if you can see that. See how they're not level? You want them to be level. So I'll just take it off and I'll make it level. So you can even push the paper towards you so that you can see where this other binding is. Let's see if I get closer for you. There you go. And now you can line up your binding with the previous binding or the hinge or whatever you want to call it. So like one, two, three, I have six pages. So I would attach four more pages exactly the same way. You don't need um, a binding, a gusset or a wing or anything on the outside. As you can see here, I don't have the binding on this page or the last page. There's no binding there. So you'd create all of your pages and then all I did was put score tape on these gussets here. I centered it on my cover and I stuck it down and then I opened up each page and then I burnished the gussets here. And that's all I did to create this album. So if you have any questions, let me know. It's fairly simple. You can create flaps. If you had like um, the same color paper or if you're using envelopes that are um, a different color, I was going to create um, flaps 
but I didn't have any paper that was exactly this color and it would have drove me nuts. So this card is small flap be in there like that. But if you create one, um, you can even make the envelopes. I mean, it's just like the basic design of all of the base pages that I make for my mini albums. It's all, it's just an envelope instead. So that's all there is to that. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.